Hello everyone and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. Today we're going to look at some command block clocks which is something new, maybe, <laughs> but it's now finally possible to use command blocks to have a reliable clock. So I'm going to show you two concepts uh, of some very very easy to use and compact command block clocks. These are all about one block in size <laughs> except for then the entity that is moving on top of it and they are very easy to set up as it only requires one command you can just copy from somewhere else um, they are also highly adjustable I have uh, for every tick rate one set up here so I have a 10 tick clock here 9 tick 8 7 6 all the way up to a half tick clock so if you want to go anything higher than this you will need to use a different kind of clock uh, but for anything of 10 ticks and below this is the way to go let's check out the 10 tick clock here so I can basically explain the concept so what's happening here is it's spawning a falling sand entity inside a redstone block which causes it to pick up the redstone block that is on top of the command block throw it in the air for a bit and then it just falls back down because of gravity and then turns into a redstone block when it touches the command block which causes it to send out a redstone signal and activates the whole loop again so that is the whole concept um, the tick rate so how many times it pulses is defined by the velocity you use on the falling sand entity the more the velocity you give it the longer it will take to fall back down so the more ticks you have in between pulses so for this 10 tick clock which pulses every 10 ticks I have a velocity of 0 0.4 I will first just go over the command so summon which is the new uh, command from the snapshot which you can use to summon any kind of entity then the entity we summon is falling sand we do that 1.5 blocks above the command block which is the same as a normal block one block above the command block but because it's a falling sand entity it actually gets spawned half block lower um, and I'm just using relative coordinates because it's way easier then um, after that so this is the coordinate section we have a um, yeah some brackets here which define that we're going to give it custom um, yeah tags uh, we have first style ID which changes it from sand to redst a redstone block because 152 is the ID of a redstone block and then we have an other tag motion which I'm using for changing the velocity the X velocity the Y velocity and the Z velocity so as you can see for X and um, Z I haven't really defined anything because I don't need it to move in those directions but for Y I've put it at 0.4 and uh, 0.4 is the exact velocity you need for a 10 tick clock if you're wondering what you need for all the other ones you basically subtract 0 0.05 uh, for each tick so a 90 clock would be 0 0.35 a 80 clock would be 0 0.3 a 70 clock 0 0.25 etc and that is all there is to it that is the whole command and then you have your clock here uh, so what I've done is set up the real clocks with um, repeaters adjacent to it so you can actually see that they, these clocks are highly reliable because they pulse at the exact same time as you can see all of these all the way up to the 2T clock which is this one here which isn't reliable unfortunately this is because of how the falling sand works and yeah it's not reliable as you can clearly see the repeaters are jumbled up and then um, after that we have the one tick clock which works a little bit different but with almost the same command so we're again using summon falling sand but instead of spawning it one and a half blocks above the command block we're actually spawning it 1.25 blocks above the command block and we're not using any velocity what that does is it spawns it a little bit inside the command block um, which basically causes it to instantly well not instantly one tick later pop up and be instantly placed on top of the command block which is yeah exactly what we need for a one tick clock so it looks a bit derpy but it works pretty much the same as all the other ones I guess um, and then last but not least we have this half tick clock which uses a new um, set block command what I'm doing is one command block here is placing a redstone block 
and it is again relative to the command block minus one block and then the other one is removing that redstone block in the exact same place and replacing it with air and many of you will think yeah that is just a redstone block there we don't really see anything happening and the redstone isn't flashing or anything but this is actually getting <laughs> removed and placed at the exact same time so you don't see anything happening but in the in the game code there actually is stuff happening so the only thing um, I can show you this with is with a piston if I place this on top you will see that it double extends so that basically indicates that there is something going on but repeaters nope can't pick up the signal redstone dust can't pick it up so this isn't useful in many applications the only thing I've found a use for is command blocks for instance if you want to uh, check for something using test for at an insanely fast rate well pretty much instant you can use this clock and it will actually work it actually does detect the the clock and the way I want to show you this and also show you that it's a half the clock uh, is using this command block here that I've set to add one to a scoreboard and I'm just going to reset the scoreboard using that command block and then we'll just flick this lever and you will see that it flies up at an insane speed and you if you actually count or check your watch or something you will actually see that it does 20 every second so that is the half the clock only uses a command block of unfortunately but yeah maybe you guys can come up with some uses for this one but other than that that is going to conclude this video all the commands I've used are going to be on top of the video description and um, other than that, I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.